This video shows you how to work with action scripts that call other child scripts. An action script is the basis in XenoGuard to automate a workflow. Multiple actions that you add are executed one after the other. XenoGuard calls a script that you start first the master script. A master script can call additional scripts. These are then called child scripts. In the following example, you can see two scripts docked next to each other. The left script is the master script. The child script is open on the right. At this point the master calls the child script. The action for this is called script start. Now let's start the script. For demonstration, a wait action has been added. The execution icon in the tab shows which script is currently running. You can see the same icon in the Workspace Explorer. After 20 seconds, the child script is called. The icon in the tab changes again. The master is now waiting and the child script is active. As soon as all actions in the child have been executed, Xenoguard jumps back to the master. If you now start the child script directly, it will automatically become the master script. Child scripts are used to structure complex workflow processes more clearly. In addition, a child script serves to make a certain workflow, which you want to execute more often, reusable. Therefore, give all scripts meaningful names that describe what a script does exactly, such as open web page in Chrome browser or wait for user input. Using action script parameters. To make script flows as universal and reusable as possible, child scripts often require input parameters that accept data. The operation and definition are similar to variables, but there is no context scope because global parameters make no sense. Add a parameter definition with define parameter. The default name will be created automatically as with variables. As you can see, XenoGuard notices that a script has defined new parameters. They immediately appear in the action script parameters node when the script is called. The order is automatically adjusted as soon as you change the order in the script. Renaming parameters also has an immediate effect. As soon as the parameters are defined, the caller can enter data. These are passed to the script when it is called and the script can continue to work with them. In other programming languages these parameters are called function parameters. In XenoGuard they are the script parameters. Let's change the child script so that a message box opens. The message text is set by the master script. Also the delay time in milliseconds until the message box closes. Let's start the master script again. The text appears in the message box and the window closes after 3 seconds. If you delete a parameter in the child, the parameter remains in the parent script and is not deleted so that the passing value is not lost. If you are sure that you don't need the parameter anymore, you have to do this manually in the parent script. Click this button to remove all unnecessary parameters. XenoGuard removes all unknown parameters from the script. By the way, the parameters can be pre-initialized with a default value. This has two advantages. First, you can test the script with meaningful parameters and second, the parameters can then be optionally filled by the caller. If they remain empty, the child script uses the default values. Using action script results. A script can also return results to the caller. This makes it possible to pass data from the child script to its parent script. A result is defined with define result. As before, multiple results can be added. At the caller, they appear below the action script results node. The change of the order and a name change have the same effect as with the parameters. Before a child script exits, the result values should be filled with valid data. The action set identifier is used for this purpose.
Once the child script is executed, the value of a result parameter appears in the master script. Script calls and dependencies. To call child scripts, the easiest way is to drag them from the workspace explorer to the desired position. Xenoguard automatically inserts the script start action. If your project contains many scripts and you want to see what dependencies exist between a master script and its child scripts, then you can set a filter in the workspace explorer. Open the master script first or activate the script if it is already open. Then click on this button in the toolbar. Xenoguard displays all interdependent scripts and hides all other scripts. The red cross deletes the filter. The next video shows how to make decisions and conditionally branch using the if action. Thank you for your interest. I hope the video helped you. If you have any questions about the product, feel free to contact us. We'll be very glad to help you.